Today I have the pleasure of walking you through one of our newest products. It'll be available in June. Uh, it's HP's ZVR. It's our new virtual reality display, so a 3D display that we believe is going to be an integral component to HP's blended reality uh, uh, endeavors. So what we have here is a 24-inch class display with four cameras. The cameras are actually going to pick up uh, some cues on some glasses, but right now the depiction is really just a nice, rich 2D display. Uh, and I've got it configured for, uh, since we're in an education vignette uh, here at the, the show, to show you what an instructor classroom scenario might look like. So the instructor's display is here. We've got just a simple webcam, nothing spe special or fancy about the webcam, but it's actually showing with our Z-View uh, a view and rendering that the, the classroom can see, or trainees, it could be a corporate environment, uh, medical staff, uh, et cetera, et cetera. But the first clue we've got something unique and different is if you look at this image, you see that the doctor is breaking the plane. So that's our clue that we've got something new and exciting. So once I introduce uh, these lenses to the field, the cameras will pick it up. You'll see the, the, the view begin to distort. If I put the lenses on, it becomes a very rich, immersive 3D experience. So as I move around, the system and the, the technology knows how to render this so that there's no nausea-inducing parallax or, or lagging. So it's a really nice, so I can look down into the horizon and I can actually look down this pipe. So that's fantastic in and of itself, but I can begin to introduce a stylus into the picture. And now I can begin to select and manipulate the, the objects. And in my view, it's just floating out in space. I can leave that here and then come back and grab it and I'll introduce it to the camera. So I can leave this and you can see that it's really just floating in space. I see it there and also the students see it. So we can place that down. Any number of these uh, objects can be manipulated. So we've got a ruler. I'll just leave it there, jumping out of space. We can place that in there. We actually have additional functionality depending upon what you might program. So this is a little uh, virtual camera. I'm shooting a, an image down the pipe. I can leave it there so in this frame you can see the image of the camera. I can adjust it to interview the doctor. Now she's on film. So what we can also do is depending upon what's programmed in here we could add any number of scenarios that be, be useful for uh, enterprises. So if you have a biological minded uh, uh, concern you could uh, do something like this. So I've lifted it up in the screen and I can introduce it uh, to the classroom in detail. So you get a nice view of the underside of the uh, butterfly. She's uh, unharmed and untouched. The camera here can be used to uh, do some detail. And in fact, uh, you can use this icon and actually program a path for the camera to follow and it will fly around in, uh, to, to however you have uh, programmed it, it'll take all those images and they'll be visible in the screen. Um, pardon my interruption, but would you be, is that a, um, are the uh, programming interface exposed to average users or would they have to be, uh, is that something that has to be programmed by uh, ZSpace? So you know, there's a software developer's kit available and there's already certain uh, enterprise customers who have applications built upon that today. There's about 30 at least known uh, that, we, that we have cataloged at this point in time uh, the large majority of them are education focused, uh, and then we're starting to see more and more of the enterprise softwares being built. Thank you. So we'll click here and go back. Uh, really one of the most captivating um, depictions and renderings is, 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 is when I place the doctor in that portal, you see a nice, and especially in my view, I see a nice 3D rendering of, of a heart and lung with a stylus. I can bring this up towards my eye and really put focus on the detail. So I can leave it hovering in space. Introduce that so the camera can see it. And the heart is beating. The heart is beating. So if I place that over here, we'll put focus on the heart. And as you saw, you can highlight an area, quadrant, and then I can even select it to be transparent so we can look inside and get a view of the, uh, the valves as they're functioning, as you see it, they are... You can do a 360 rotation of the object. Absolutely, so I can, with the help of the stylus, I can move it around. If I point it here towards the camera, we can get a good view of the, of the valves uh, opening and closing. And even uh, 
in this demo, there's haptics programmed into the stylus, so I can actually feel the heartbeat. So nice. as you can code and, and add data, the more richer your experience will be for the image. Is the processing for this uh, external to the uh, to the monitor, or does the monitor include uh, uh, the, all of the processing elements required? Does it require a PC? I, I guess what I'm trying to say, does it require a PC in order to work? Absolutely. And, and behind the scenes here, I've got just a standard Z400 class HP workstation powering, so not a uh, especially powerful uh, workstation, but uh, very adequate for the task. And I would say just a mid-range or better uh, graphics card is going to help as well. Okay, thank you. Absolutely. So this uh, you know, type of experience, this demo, will show you what, what could be done in a medical training environment or just medical research, of course. We'll go back out. I'm going to place this cylinder into the portal. So here we have a, 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 an arm depicted, kind of a robotic arm. You can begin to disassemble it. I can let pieces fly here in space. Very intuitive once you uh, kind of get the, the sense of your depth. You can just very delicately place and pick individual discrete parts out. So this, is, this is built for 3D printing. Absolutely. So what uh, in, in my landscape I see we would have Sprout maybe to the left of this. We would digitize an item. We'd put it in the Z. Uh, VR environment, manipulate it, maybe make some technical changes to it, and once we've done that, send it to our future 3D printing and do a prototype very quickly in under 30 nice. minutes. Nice. So in this application, mechanical and other types of design, electrical type uh, enterprises might be interested in this ZVR. And then we can also uh, highlight some of the other applications that might be out there for architecture or um, you know, fine design, fashion. We'll take this watch, and in my view, I'm bringing it off the screen, and I'm just going to let it place there in space. Put it so that the camera can pick it up. And I can bring it to me and see all, all the detail of the watch face or the strap. So from a mechanical engineer, maybe a, a valve design uh, demo, we can see. And in my view, I've got all the uh, measurements depicted. As I rotate it, they stay in orientation. And then one of the interesting things you can do is I reach in here and grab the camera is we can actually fly. Let me see if I can move this. So the camera can pick it up. Place that there. So we could actually fly through items. I didn't do this with the heart, but we can just see what all is inside as we go through it. Nice. So you can do that with, um, with the house. So this house, it, it, the demo is showing you the various uh, images, you get fully, fully roofed, you can go down to the studs, a uh, floor plan view, and then even just a flat view. And then you could take the camera and do a walkthrough, a virtual walkthrough of a house. So this could be great in real estate uh, uh, environments and pool designs and others that are designing things uh, prior to, um, to kick off or, or trying to close a sale with clients. Nice. And we'll jump back out. So that is, uh, in a couple of minutes, is a quick summary of, of all the capability that the, the new HPZ VR is capable of. But as I said, the more data that you encode and bring into the environment, the richer the experience will be. So we're really excited.